what is going on everybody and welcome back today we're going to go ahead and talk about some call of duty specifically the black ops cold war reveal but before we do that do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications in the background in light of the topic of discussion today i do have some black ops 4 gameplay so definitely enjoy that as we get through it that all being said let's get into it it is that time again the internet is flooded with information pertaining to cold war i'm talking about the reveal the trailer people's reactions actions and of course the leaks it has been a leaks galore and i am loving it it's all out there and it has been fun looking into the details pertaining to the new game and based off of that right off of face value i can tell you i am looking forward to seeing what we're gonna get first things first though i did watch the trailer and the reveal i did like what i saw at face value the campaign will be dope plain and simple it is a direct sequel to black ops 1 story that was a great story so i'm sure we will be seeing a lot of familiar faces a lot of action a lot of fun stuff pertaining to that time period the 60s and 70s during the reveal they always and this time is no difference they put about 10 seconds of multiplayer in there and from what i can see and what i could slow down and really watch it looked rock solid but when it comes to that obviously i'm gonna remain skeptical until we know more about the multiplayer side of things but overall the campaign did look solid and what i did see was pretty good that all being said i've been looking into the leaks associated with the game from a few sources specifically those wonderful data miners out there that stay in the house way too long get high on g fuel and just go through code for code line for line to get that information out to the masses thank god for them without them we wouldn't be where we're at today but according to them it has been discovered that skill-based matchmaking will definitely be making a return that a modified pick 10 will be returning when it comes to creating a class with the caveat that we will still be able to have five attachments attached to your gun no matter what. It is rumored that score streaks are returning, that there will be no specialists at all this time around, that Warzone will be returning, we already knew about that one, and that the entire multiplayer experience this time around will be cross-platform. Obviously, I think that one's going to be true because the COD community, honestly, it has been dying for a long time. So they need the numbers. So I truly believe that that one is actually going to be true. You know, obviously, when it comes to these leaks, and I put quotation marks around that as I'm recording that, I ain't going to cite any one person or any kind of source. Hit the internet, I read it, Google, you'll figure out the information is out there definitely have fun looking into it as i did moving on i really do hope that skill-based matchmaking does not make a return let pubs be random let pub stomping return and i'm sure a big portion of the community will return to the series as a whole for those that out there you know who want that status who want that rank mode who want to put their skills to the test create a ranked section or some sort of mode where skill-based matchmaking is integrated for them let them have their way and let us the pub stompers have our way the community as a whole been requesting that for so long i don't think that we're actually going to get it but i at least wanted to put it out there as something that you know an expectation that i would say i don't want to see come back more than likely we're gonna go ahead and see it come back and that's just the way that's gonna be but that all being said moving on black ops one is my favorite call of duty and they better not mess this up or i'm out i'm gonna tell you straight up i'll go play something else and hey that's just gonna be how that's gonna be they have plenty of resources and historically accurate information to utilize when it comes to the fun fact of the game i'm talking napalm i'm talking the chopper gunner i'm talking dogs i'm talking outstanding things like i want to see something that wows me the hit detection should be on point so they had not, they didn't really have a problem with that treyarch has been pretty solid with that so i ain't really worried about that i just hope that the game is fun upon release but that being said there will definitely be a beta before the release i predict that the beta is going to be in september because that leaves two months for them to tweak the game and not fix anything found that will affect activision's bottom dollar plus i believe september marks the 10 year mark from when black ops 1 released so i believe that that's when they're really going to ramp up and actually put that beta out there the beta eventually will be open to everyone but to get it early there will be a few opportunities so definitely hit the internet and look 
look out for those. If you get a beta code and I didn't, you better send me one. That's all I'm saying. Furthermore, a lot of the community is upset that the game this time around will come with a cross-gen bundle version. You can actually just buy the game for the current gen and buy it again when the next gen consoles come out or you can buy the bundle and have both set up and ready to go again a lot of people in the community are upset about this for some reason to them i say shut up and suck it up buttercup that's just gonna be how it is i obviously am gonna get the 70 dollars version of it because i kind of want that bundle I, i'm getting the next gen console so we might as well get it now and be able to play it out the gate when it comes that time the cost of making games and consoles have gone up hence the prices for games have to go up as well that's just how that is going to be i don't mind paying 70 dollars for a game however i better get my 70 dollars worth out of that game or i'm not buying it simple as that that better become the new standard if i'm gonna pay more i accept more that's just how that's gonna go obviously in my opinion overall if you're out there and you're on the fence i think because the next gen consoles are also being released this year it's a no-brainer if you're in the call of duty definitely get the next generation bundle version of the game so that you can play it right out the gate like i said so you don't have to wait you install it you play you enjoy overall i am looking forward to the game i'm looking forward to the further leaks i'm looking forward to the beta i will definitely be bringing it to the channel i'm looking forward to it as a whole but that about wraps it up on my end what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i appreciate you all and i'll definitely see you on the next one